Okay, this how-to video is going to go through how to uh, control some of the via voiding in a copper plane uh, when you're routing a differential pair inside the Cadence PCB tools. So obviously, if I invoke the add connect command and I start to route a differential pair, they route together based on the, the rule set in physical or electrical rules. If I want to add a via, I can double click and add the via, stop and put the via down and, and continue on my way. Um, and obviously the way that the vias are voided, so you can obviously see this kind of pattern here at the moment, this is based on the spacing constraints, so um, and, and maybe some global dynamic parameter settings. But the the basic clearance from the via the via to the to the copper plane is based on the spacing constraint. Now there may be some instances just to improve impedance when you're routing a differential pair that you might want to kind of do this as a, a much cleaner. So you're 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 voiding the vias in a in a in a shape pair to kind of not individually you would void them together. And the way we could do that is actually if we look under the shape and global dynamic parameters. There's a checkbox under the void controls, diff, diff pair combined void for vias added with the return path option. So if I enable this option and hit apply, you'll actually notice it on this one, this has actually had the clearance done. On this one, um, it wouldn't work because the, void, the, the vias themselves weren't added using the return path option. So the return path option allows you to add vias uh, with different patterns. So in this scenario, I've got like an offset basin um, here. Um, so let's just delete, or well, in fact, let's just continue with the routing. We'll add a different set of vias. So we'll continue on the routing here. And this time when I do a right click, I've actually got this return path vias option. So I can actually choose where I want um, one via in line, equidistant, offset, diamond. So let's just choose um, in line for this example. Click OK. And when I double click to add the vias, you can see I get um, the return path vias added. So um, and there's another video showing you this in a bit more detail. But when I click and add the vias, then what you'll notice now is that the, the clearance around the vias is actually uh, grouped together. So it's voiding these two vias as a group and it can help you improve impedance of your differential pair.